Today we're going to prep the fourth lesson for Bootstrap Algebra. So that's going to be domain and range. Let's grab the sides. Make my own copy. Kill those from here so I can go here and do what I normally do flip back and forth between the different windows. So keep practicing that. Before I go through these, I'm going to review myself this one. Order of operations, there are a bunch of. Um, Worksheets that I'm going to have my student, you know, that I I suggested that the the learner do uh, the you know all of those in the video of these. I got myself into a little bit of trouble because I wanted to go from circle of evaluation to code example um, in a more difficult example, but I didn't have the circle of evaluation filled in. I thought about drawing on the screen. I ended up pausing and or, you know, stopping the video, backtracking so that I could. Um, just do one that was already worked. So I think when I taught this before, I had some pre-worked out um, circles of evaluation so that I could then go from circle of evaluation to code. After this week, it's easier to go from circles of evaluation to code because they'll, they'll already be worked out. And, you know, a lot of these students have trouble with the arithmetic part, and I don't want to get too bogged down in nested circles of evaluation using math functions. That's no fun. Um, if we're going to do nested functions, um, we can do stars and uh, other kinds of drawings later. So uh, if they do the worksheets, I'm fine with moving forward. OK, so now let's go through these. So functions are like a coffee machine. I remember in browsing through these that I didn't feel like there was quite an, enough early introduction to range and domain, those terms. Ah, OK, so um, the contract is uh, not the contracts page. Let's see, that's what I practice. The contracts page is not listed here. So in order to get the contracts, we'll have to go back to the main page down here, uh, student workbook, and it's at the end. So I will do that during the lesson. Also, we talk uh, later in the slides about data type, but don't really introduce that. So this is a good slide to talk about, um, you know, that this is a type or data type. Um, but we do come back to this phrase is useful. Contracts or general expressions are specific. This is a fly in, and if I remember. Yeah, there's a bug in the fly-in. So uh, how do you do that in this? I'm going to pause so you don't have to watch me look around for that. OK, insert animation. 
So there already is an animation, and it incorrectly, both of these animations are the same. Uh, they're both point to this, this thing. So we take that one out somehow. Don't know how. We can hit uh, this to select an object, animate, add, fade in on click, that's fine. Don't know how to delete one. They're trash. Okay, now we should click one, click two. Contract for multiplication. This is the first time you're going through this. If you are teaching this for yourself um, and you have, are not uh, familiar with the How to Design Programs book, that is the you know grown-up professional version, uh, college, college introduction to uh, this contracts method of development, um, and it's really good. So it's it's very test driven um, and uh, that's where this comes from so the, the how to de design programs book is really 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 good um, so yeah we'll need the uh, contracts pages of the, the workbook which are only in the PDF in the back what's wrong with this contract so we definitely need to already have discussed um, the difference between uh, a data type and uh, an atomic data value. All right, we're going to type in some strings to the um, REPL. And now we get uh, circles of evaluation for a new type. So this one will just, oops, this one will just talk about it, and then in the next one, we're still just talking about it, domain and range. Yeah, that's when I realized, looking through these before, that we hadn't talked a lot about domain and range, so I think what needs to be mentioned every time we talk about functions up above, um, so that we'll be ready for this. Worth this circle to code. And I'm going to do that in demonstration. And then they, so I don't want to demonstrate a little bit here, a couple of error messages, but then um, page 17. They have to find other functions. So this is a pretty good long term, but I want it to be a stop and, and do it here. So Square. Okay, so this is a good place to, to demonstrate um, the error messages um, for some of these things. And page 18 is more. Let's see, we have nested, you know, nested functions here, so... Um, and they make sense in a way that abstract arithmetic doesn't. Like we're going to have a solid boost circle and make it twice as big. Right, and then we're talking about the domain and range. What is the name of the okay so it's going to ask a specific thing and the domain of the outermost so I'll, I'll, I will you know talk about innermost and outermost
and then we got extra stuff which parts parts matching parts parts matching converting circuits of evaluation to code where is that was that a previous yeah yes it was those so I'll probably just say if you haven't done those go back and do those now so we didn't have any slides on you know that concept that they you know would have learned in algebra of the horizontal te uh, the uh, vertical line test so these are all their slides for all of these uh, will I remember to switch back from here I think I will so I'm not going to put a reminder here hopefully because it's the first slide and then I have thought this slide was inadequate for talking about functions so this will help okay great I think I'm ready to, to walk through these I did watch my uh, previous work through of these concepts uh, in that old uh, those old videos and that other playlist so um, like I said before it took me a couple of hours to prepare each one of those so uh, now that I uh, to prepare one class of this it's, it's about one to one I feel like instead of the uh, four to one that it was the last time I prepared these <laughs>